What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming here to bring you guys the best strategy on how to beat the War Priest on hard mode. We use this strategy as well as all my other Oryx guides. If you guys haven't seen those, check it out. They're all in the videos, um, the description below. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified. Pretty much these strategies that I come up with and I share with you guys, these are the strategies my brother and I and the people at TKO Gaming use to help you guys through this raid. These strategies are meant for those individuals who just haven't been raiding for that long, who haven't had that teamwork, who maybe aren't high enough light, or who maybe don't have the best weapons. It works. My daughter's strategy, Golgoroth, War Priest, and Oryx, all these strategies work. So definitely keep that in mind as you guys watch my videos. Um, and my best recommendation is to have the people you are helping or have your raid group also watch my videos so they have a visual understanding of how to do it. But at the end of the day, guys, make sure you stay positive. Do not bring your hopes down. Just, you know, encourage your team. Be the strength of your team to then prevail in this hard mode raid um, and as well as anything new coming into Destiny. Anyway, so as you guys see, we're doing a 2-2-2 strategy, meaning we have two on the top left, two in the middle, and two on the right. Just assign the roles properly, my friends. Um, what we have is after we clear out the ads and we kill those knights and the sequence begins, we have one person go to the bottom front of uh, where we were standing and he just turns around and looks up at the pillars. That allows him to go and be able to see the sequence and then tell, he tells us how to get the sequence down. And then after the last person gets on the plate, he becomes the red aura dude that uh, we have to stand around to do damage. He comes over to the right side. So the first part, we always come over to this right side. And then the second and third, we're going to be bottom middle, which is a great spot to be at. Um, it's a pretty uh, cheesy spot, if you don't mind me saying. I know you guys hate that word, but honestly, guys, I don't know why you hate cheeses. I come from, from the world of Halo. Uh, where glitches and super jumps and cheeses were the most amazing thing. So I don't know why um, so many people hate that word, but who cares? I definitely failed on that tether, but I tried my best, okay? But if, as you guys see, the Blessings of Light technique works very, very well here. Um, what we're doing is the Touch of Malice, Last Bullet with Blessings of Light is a great cheese. You'll see that in a lot of my uh, videos uh, that I do on Oryx, that I do on the Daughters, and then uh, now I'm doing here and even Golgoroth. Uh, but it works. It really, really does work. So I recommend that if you don't have the touch of malice, this gun makes life so much easier. So go get it. But as you guys can see, the massive damage we are doing just with uh, Blessings of Light. If we had Weapons of Light as well, it would have been even better um, along with more tethers. This would have been a flawless, flawless strategy. But as you guys see, we're going to go all three waves um, with the same strategy. If you have the right character build, oh, look at that nice smoke grenade. But with the same strategy, if you have the right character build, you can definitely one wave him. Uh, you just need to have high light and really, really good weapons. But this strategy is a definite two wave. We did it in three waves. Keep in mind, we are helping people in this video. Almost every video that I've posted for you guys, we're definitely helping others. Um, we help people from our live stream that support us and and we have a fundraiser going and all you guys man we love to help you guys and all the support you guys give just by i mean donating isn't even necessary just by you guys being able to share my videos and help the channel grow and help the live stream grow just shows so much support and and we're here we're here for the long run guys we are not stopping so thank you guys once again for all that support uh wave two is where we are at right now um keep in mind the mechanics of the hard mode is where the war priest shoots those black balls of death at you um, usually at the end where the oculus comes he knows where you're standing so he'll shoot a black ball of death you want to make sure you dodge that black ball of death and it's hard mode and you cannot res so also be safe because as you see in the video i am not being safe right now but that hunter invisibility really really does help and as you guys saw in the beginning when i threw it and it did that weird thing i was trying to make all my teammates invisible so that we can get away um carefully uh get away from the war priest so Anyways, once again, we're killing the knight. We have our guy in the front right. You can see his gamer tag is Candids. He's there and he's looking up uh, to tell us where um, the sequence is. And then we see it. So this next plate is the right plate. We're gonna get on it. And then the last plate that they're gonna get on. And as soon as they get on that, we're gonna go down to bottom mid. And we had a person die. That's probably why we, actually that is exactly why we didn't kill him in two waves is because somebody died. So this is definitely a two wave strategy. 
Um, if you guys want to be boss and try it and have it be a three wave strategy, that'd be pretty cool as well. But as you guys see, um, we didn't have blessings of light this time. We had weapons of light because of one person going down. So be very careful with that touch of malice. I almost killed myself there. But, you know, just know the character builds. Everyone, if you feel comfortable with your role in this raid, if every individual on your team feels comfortable with their role in the raid, they will, you guys will just accomplish it flawlessly, no doubt. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And also, like I stated before, um, come tune into our live stream and play with us live. Watch us live. Uh, these videos are a great way to help you, your teammates, and all of the Destiny community uh, get the difficult parts of Destiny done. Um, even though I will say I don't understand why people said that the War Priest on hard mode was difficult. I just felt that it wasn't too difficult. Um, I felt it was pretty easy. The mechanics didn't change that much. Um, so tell me, what difficulty were you guys having? Uh, on if you were having any difficulty with the war priest and what did you do to fix it because I'm sure that you guys can definitely help others out that read the comments below and also if you are watching this video and you need a group to do this with feel free to put your gamer tag and console below as well as your character build I'm sure that other people are that are watching this may also need a raid group and what better way to get people that you know have watched the strategy and that have a visual understanding of what's going on. It's almost like a recipe for success. You guys will get it done. Just remember, if you guys meet for my videos or even meet on LFG or any other form of meetups and destiny dating or whatever you want to call it make sure that you guys are just supportive and, and nice just be nice to others no matter what what you do in life just try to be nice to others um you would expect the same in return um what i like to tell people is that look we all have our own problems in life but once it comes time to gaming which i look at as a great outlet to just relax and get away from those stresses of life leave those stresses of life away from game. just have fun relax and keep a positive environment um, but we're on the third wave here and we're doing the sequence. We're getting called out uh, by the good friend Candids who's uh, telling us what the sequence is. And um, I tethered him and right now it's just an easy, easy kill uh, for the War Priest. Um, and I really hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys did enjoy it, please feel free to hit a thumbs up because that helps a ton check out the other guides i made and subscribe and join the tko gaming family if you haven't oh and make sure you pop that three of coins because it does work on the bosses in the raid all right i love you guys stay safe stay blessed um stay positive and i'll see you in the next video peace out